welcome back to my channel um, today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys I'm going to show you guys how to stamp um, just in case anybody is struggling with it if anybody is wondering how to do it just keep watching all right you guys so I'm going to show you all of the basic things that you guys will need to stamp um, Obviously you need a hand, not necessarily a practice hand. This is my practice hand, just in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> um, and I painted the tips with the Light Elegance Buttercreams, just in case you guys are wondering as well. Um, but we're going to do some examples for you guys, just to help anyone out there that might necessarily not know how to stamp properly. Um, and all of the tricks that I've learned during stamping and hopefully that can help some of you guys out there but I don't want this video to be too long so I'm going to get right into the products that you guys need to stamp so first off you're going to need a stamping plate <laughs> so I have a born pretty stamping plate um, I decided to choose um, kind of like abstract designs because I know that when the lines get thin it gets a little tricky so that's why I decided to pick this plate. You're also going to need a stamper and a scraper. So here's the stamper. This one is bigger. Here's a scraper and then I have a small one if you want to do like more precision stamping. Um, my stamps or my stampers are very well loved. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, I use them all the time and obviously they're kind of dirty and you guys can definitely see that here minus my nails I'm so sorry about my nails guys but yeah so you're gonna need a stamper you're gonna need a scraper you're also going to need some nail wipes and some acetone um, or just any nail polish remover I like to use acetone nail polish remover I find it to be the best when stamping or working with any kind of polish um, and then some wipes because things get messy number one pro tip when stamping please get yourself a lint roller it will save you and your stamper so much time and it this i don't know who came up with this but this has been literally the best thing that anybody has came up with um as far as like stamping hacks this will be your best friend when it comes to stamping totally like 12,000% would recommend you getting a lint roller. I know they sell them at the dollar store and stuff. You don't have to get anything fancy by any means. Just something that will stick. And last and not least, you're going to need some stamping polish. So um, today we have the Bundle Monster stamping polish. This is the white one. This is the black one. And also, if you don't have stamping polish, I'm going to be showing you guys an example using just normal nail polish um, any nail polish would do I don't see any difference I will tell you the difference later in this video but I also have the same colors in a stamping polish so that we can see the difference and I can show you guys exactly what I mean so once you guys have all of your materials and all of your tools we're going to get started all right you guys the first and the most important thing while you're stamping is going to be making sure that your plate is clean you don't want any residue or any stamps or nail polish or anything caked up on your stamping plate because that's obviously going to hinder your stamping um, because the the polish is going to be like built up in the plates or in the grooves and you're not going to get a good stamp so it's just not going to like pick up properly um, if you're new to stamping also, I would recommend getting a clear jelly stamper. So any clear stamper, it doesn't matter the brand. I don't find that one brand is better than others when picking um, the stamping up. So don't believe the hype. Just save some money and get whatever you want. So um, right now I'm going to use like this pink stamping polish and the pink regular polish and I'm going to stamp one on this hand and then another one on this finger I said hand this finger and then one on this finger and then we're going to compare the two and then I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more of why the polish doesn't necessarily matter and why it does matter so let's get started with that all right you guys first I wanted to start off with telling you guys why stamping polish is kind of important so here as you guys can see I'm using the stamping polish um, it is 
more pigmented and it's definitely easier to apply on your nails. It dries a hell of a lot faster than regular polish. So to me, I would recommend it, especially if you're not using like gel coats, you're just using a regular nail polish. Um, this would be your best bet because it dries it a lot faster and then you can just immediately go in and apply your top coat. And me being me and being super picky, um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe my stamping plate off and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp that over again because it came out crooked. Um, and just in case anybody is wondering, I'm sorry I didn't choose a different pattern for a stamping plate, but I thought that this one was more intricate and it had different like little divots and grooves and lines and stuff so it would be best to show you guys how to stamp properly but it doesn't fit the nails so if you guys stay tuned in the video i will show you how to stamp with images that are too small for um, your nails because that a lot of people run into that as well too so here i'm just going to line up the stamping image again after i get the plate out of the way so everything was bothering me um, so that I can get a nice clean stamp. So when you stamp, you want to press very firmly and side to side just a little bit. And you guys, here's why the lint roller is very important. Look at that. Amazing. Just absolutely amazing. <laughs> Love it. So now I'm going to go in with my um, Sally Henson gel. Oh, well, uh, I'm so used to gel, you guys. I'm going to go in with my Sally Henson nail polish, and I'm going to stamp that same image. Um, the reason why I don't recommend polish is just because it's a little bit more sheer, as you guys can see here. It's definitely not as pigmented. It does still pick up, so if you have a nail polish that's just as pigmented as a stamping polish, by all means, do you. Um, but I just like the results, as you guys can see here, of the stamping polish versus the nail polish. There's nothing wrong with stamping with nail polish, but it does take a little bit longer to dry. So for all of the ladies out there that use regular nail polish um, you would have to wait a little bit before you can top coat it but if you use gel i believe that you can just do it right away and yeah that's the difference now moving right along on what not to do when stamping um so this one these are kind of over exaggerating some of them but you definitely don't want to coat the whole image and just Lop your stamper on it. Never do that, guys. It's never going to work out. You're never going to pick up an image, and it's just a waste of beautiful polish. So just don't do that. <laughs> All right, next up, you don't want to just not coat the whole image. As you guys can see there, I have half of that, well, not half of it, but a little bit of that image that I didn't pick up. You'd never want to do that. You want to cover the full image so that you can stamp it accordingly. All right, you guys, next up is what I used to do. <laughs> so I coated the whole stamping image, which is unnecessary, waste of polish. Um, I scraped it properly and then I just plopped it. <laughs> this creates air bubbles that you guys really do not want. Um, it doesn't pick up the image quite as crystal clear as you could if you were doing like the rolling method. Um, I'm trying to show you guys here. Um, hopefully you guys can see it. And then um, when I go and I put it on the lint roller, you guys can see it a little bit more. It's a little spotty. So if you guys can see it there, maybe um, between those two, you can see that the image was spotty and it wasn't as clean. All right, and the next common mistake that people make, including myself while stamping, especially if I'm in a rush, um, I don't add enough polish. So this is me not adding enough polish. When you go to scrape it, it doesn't cover the whole image and your image, once again, is spotty and you don't pick it up properly. 
Um, nobody wants that kind of design on their nails. Look at that. It's tragic. It's sad. And it's waste of polish too, so don't do that as well. <laughs> Moving right along to what I used to do. So this is me stamping the image as I normally would stamp. Um, everything comes out perfect. It looks like a perfect kind of stamp. I pick it up right. Everything is good. But when I go to stamp it on my nails, I did not clean up that tacky layer that was on my gel nails. Nothing. So it's going to be sticky. It's going to make you mad and you're going to try to stamp and nothing. <laughs> it just leaves a big sticky mess, literally. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your alcohol, not acetone. Please don't use acetone on these. Um, your stampers, it will like make it all cloudy. You're going to wait for that to dry. And then you're going to um, stamp it over your lint roller just in case there was any lint or anything left over. Um, and then you're also going to clean off that tacky layer on your nail. So if you guys have a gel top coat or if you're stamping on gel polish in general and it has a tacky layer, you're always going to want to clean that off. And then you're going to go in and stamp your image. So I'm going to clean up my stamping plate, apply some more stamping polish, and then you guys can see what it will look like if I did clean that sticky layer off my nails before I went to stamp it. And the very last and not least um, is not cleaning off your stamping plate. So this is once again a little bit over exaggerating, but if you don't clean off your stamping plate properly, you're not going to pick up the image. So look at how spotty that image is. It just looks gross, it looks crusty, and let's face it guys, it's just not cute and you don't want that on your nails. So make sure you always clean your stamping plate guys. It's very important when you're stamping. Next up is how to actually stamp properly. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys the best way I have, I know how to stamp properly. So that is placing a lot of stamping polish, scraping it ever so lightly. Um, you don't want to scrape it too much and then doing a rolling method. So that's me doing a rolling method. Um, I kind of messed up a little bit, but it did not hinder my image, which is amazing. And then you're going to get your hand or your nails or your your client's nails and you're going to press down firmly on their nails don't lift it up like me please don't be like me because um if me lifting it up as you guys can see there i missed the whole corner of the front part of the nail right there so don't lift it up just keep their nails still and firm and you'll get a better adhesion <laughs> So once again, I'm going to do the same thing over again so that you guys can see. Um, I'm going to scrape, but not too hard because you want the polish to still be in the divots. Um, I'm going to do a rolling method and then I'm going to press firmly on the nail and make sure you get the sides as well too. So um, I wouldn't recommend rocking the image because that can kind of break the image up first. So if you press hard on the nail first and then rock it, um, the image will stay together and it won't pull away and it won't pull apart. So this is me cleaning up the image because I'm actually showing you guys how to stamp a small image. So I'm going to clean that up and then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to stamp that same image and then line it up ever so lightly so you guys will see it again. I kept it as slow as possible. This is me in real time, you guys. I never have videos in real time, so this was kind of different for me. But I'm gonna do that rolling method. I slowed that down for you guys so you can see how easy it is, but it's really quick, you guys. Um, you're gonna line up that image and you're gonna stamp it on your nails. Just press firm. Remember to always press firmly. And then, voila. You have a very beautiful nail. I could have did it better, but it is great. 
and now I'm going to show you guys how to stamp ombre um, and this is just mixing two polishes together um, I mix the pink and the blue together and I'm going to show you guys how to swipe it so that you can um, do like a stamp ombre because I thought that this method was pretty cool and not a lot of people know how to do it properly so you do it the same way as if you're just using one color but you want to kind of blend the colors together and I honestly could have blend the colors a little bit better now that I'm watching the video back but nevertheless here it is and I'm sorry that I didn't do it on a one color nail I did it on a like a half nail it's kind of confusing to see um, exactly where the ombre is so I apologize about that but let me know down in the comment area if you guys have any other tips and tricks for anybody um, if they're new to stamping this is this is going back to the very basics you guys so please don't make fun of anybody that has trouble stamping it is something that we all had to learn how to do and um, me just reaching out to my sister because she's getting into her nails because I'm not there to do them for her unfortunately um, she was kind of struggling with stamping so I wanted to take this video all the way back to the basics so hopefully that can help anybody just getting into the nail game or someone that's been in the nail game for a really long time on what I found to work for me when it comes to stamping also if you guys want any other how-to videos please leave it down in the comment area and I'll do my best to try to accommodate everybody in all of their suggestions so if you guys are struggling with um, how to build up your gel nails or just anything that has to do with nails please let me know down in the comment area so if you guys like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video bye